previously on Professor Layton and the Curious Village. Ah, oh, yes, now I remember. Yeah! And now back to more puzzles. Hey, this is Alpha, back with an episode of Professor Layton that I already did because, uh, and I screwed up the recording of it. So, again, so, you know, <laughs> yay. Anyway, our story so far. In the course of their afternoon long their afternoon long investigation through Saint and Stair, Luke and Leighton stumble upon rumor about some mysterious kidnappings. <coughs> the professor has a hunch that Ramon's disappearance and these kidnappings must be connected. In a quest for further details, the intrepid pair continue their search of Saint Nestaire into the night. Okay. And then talk to this guy because we got his thingy. Yo, you found my watch, did you? But of course, a gentleman always helps those in distress. Speaking of which, we're still quite worried about Ramon's whereabouts and should probably return to our search now. Yep, same as stairs. Yes, yeah, same as stairs, strange like that. Despite its size, it can be quite challenging to find feet. Sometimes it feels like running in a darn maze. Speaking of mazes, you ever heard of this one, Sonny? So I'm basically gonna rail through these puzzles because I solved all of them last time. Uh, but we really must be. Too bad, he's a puzzle. I think this one's B. Yep. It's B, because he's turned, and it's like, turn, 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 and this one's hard to turn. It's B. B. There we go. Yay! Another puzzle. Yay. I uh, can see from the diagram, he sets a band during the time he approaches the intersection, but the fence is set. As a result, I'm not half of the coaches be. I would be able to leave through there. <sighs> you're a sharp one, Sonny. You know, if you're looking for someone, you should ask around at the inn or the cafe. You know, the inn's right by the entrance of the. I know where the cafe and the village is. We've already searched the inn, but we're check checking the cafe does sound like a good idea. We'll be sure to stop by. Well, then, I'm off to bed. An old man needs his beauty rest. Thanks again for your help. Think nothing of it, sir. Uh, the cream rug, I'm pretty sure Luke liked it. Yeah, Luke's like, oh, it's modern. Uh, yeah. Um, let's, uh, I solved the other puzzle that I was having trouble with last time, so I'll just do that right quick. Oh, hi. I'm Sans with Papyrus and Skeleton. I just realized that, see? I have this, like, square kind of skeleton, but I'm wearing the hoodie. I don't know. Whatever. Hey, come on. I'm begging you. I don't want to stay outside in the dark anymore. I have, like, so much pot to do. Like, like, 12 pots. It's downright scary. 12 marijuanas. And it's much a thing with the brightest thing in the thing. Oh my god. Apparently, the tree counted. Which I didn't know. But, uh, and I was trying to do that the last time, but it wouldn't work. Like, I was like clicking all of these things over here, including the tree, and it just wouldn't do anything. I guess I was like, clicking quite the right place. Every puzzle has a message. You're right. Connect the start of the phone. Yeah. Yeah, thanks a bunch. I can finally go home and catch a few winks. <sighs> oh yeah. Now I remember. Beatrice from the inn was the one to find Gerard's watch. Don't forget to ask her about it. Okay? Okay. See you tomorrow. <laughs> 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 uh, 
I did a fake yawn, made me do an actual yawn. Come on, Luke, let's go. A stuffed bear. I think I made Leighton happy. Let's see. Let's check up on them real quick in their inn. Alright. Uh, so... Let's find a piece of furniture. Look at how expressive the bear's face is. The finished frame's just lovely. Brilliant, I love how round it is. Alright, back. <laughs> Whoo! Man, I am not happy about losing all that footage. For doing something stupid. Basically what I did is I have two microphones. I have the microphone that's built into my computer and I have an outside microphone. What I tried to do is the outside microphone. But the one, because the one that's attached to my computer sucks ass balls. Uh, but if I, I, I forgot to plug it in. I forgot to plug in the USB that connects to the better mic. So I was playing the entire thing with the integrated mic, which, as said before, is ass balls. So I sounded very bad and did not want to post that. <laughs> Good evening to you, sir. It's almost my bedtime, but I've got one more puzzle for you. Want to see it? Want to see it? I'm not quite got her down yet. Thousand times. Okay, this took me forever the first time. Because I was like, blank is a hundred thousand times blank, right? Because I'm from America and am not used to the metric system. It's M. Says a meter is a thousand times a millimeter. From it. I wasn't thinking of the metric system. There we go. The key to success. It's a meter and a millimeter. How'd you like my puzzle? Pretty fun, right? You did such a good job, I'm going to tell you a secret. I heard there's a man eating monster in the tower. And that's why everyone stays away. I'm not silly enough to think there's actually a monster inside. But the place is dangerous. So be careful in there, mister. A bookcase goes to Luke. And he's like, oh, I was just looking to get one of these or something like that. And then they did the cat and mouse. Uh -huh. Professor, there's a cat here. Oh, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Animals are very dear to you, are they not, Luke? Well, just the puzzle for you. Here you go. Cats and mice. Five cats. Uh, uh, I believe this one was still five. Yeah. Submit! How does this sound? How does this sound? Right to you. Damn right you do. Because it's, it's, yeah, it read this and then that's the answer. Wonderful job there, Luke. Got a painting scrub. I couldn't make any of the painting scrubs really fit together, so all the ones I got are just like, eh. Okay, clickety click, clickety click, click. I feel like I got a hint coin, yep. All right, the end. Let's keep going. Uh, hey, man. Hey, looking for Ramon, are you? Yep, you're definitely looking for Ramon. So you still haven't found the guy? Listen, streets are dangerous at night. Crazy dangerous. You can't go running all over town with a kid. Cause that's dangerous. Crazy dangerous. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to punish your poor judgment with a puzzle. But you'll solve it, yeah? Of course. Give it to me, Jazzman. This one also took me forever. But watch, okay? Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's the letters that it starts with. So, it is an F. Now let's see. 
Let's see if I can actually get it to recognize what I'm trying to do. Nope, it's a P. Input the answer. Uh, thank you. It took me like 20 times. First try. First time. Uh, Professor Layton and the quest to try to get the letters to the, get the input to see what you're trying to do. Well, looks like you solved it all right. Of course, we all knew a brainiac like you would solve it. If you're looking for the cafe, it's right there. But it's way past that kid's bedtime, Yano. I don't, still don't know what Yano means. Way past. Besides, the tower could stop making noises again anytime, yeah? Trust me on this one, Professor. Get back to the inn, yeah? Yeah, back to the inn. Uh, Bureau... Layton. I forget how he thinks about that, so let's look. Do you like the bureau? Well made, but needs something on top. Doors are the perfect size. Uh, I think Luke will keep it for now. <coughs> oh my, I'm sleepy. I'm a sleepy, sleepy, sheepy. Alright, Inspector. But first, let's look for hint coins. Hint coin. A coin? Yes. I don't think there's more than one, so. Oh, fancy meeting you here! I've got a doozy of a puzzle right now. It's harder to crack than a coconut. And who knows? It might have something to do with the case you're investigating right now. Spoiler! It has literally nothing to do with the case we're solving right now. So what do you say? Help a fellow detective out, will ya, brother? One, son! That's all very interesting, but I do believe there's been a mistake here. I'm no detective, you see. Say no more. Undercover and all that, then. Yes? Very well. But I know a fellow sleuth when I see one. Us being in the same trade and all, I suppose it couldn't hurt if I let you have a look at this puzzle. Solve it for me, bitch! You're my puzzle, bitch. Layton is everybody's puzzle, bitch. Uh, who should go to for haircut? This guy. There we go. Because... Because he cut the other guy's hair and it looks all nice. Yay. <laughs> oh, ho, you've done it. That had so much to do with the case at hand. You've solved that monster of a riddle. Simply astounding. Even I couldn't do it. I'm a bit of a dunderhead. Oh, it wasn't that difficult. Really, now it, it really wasn't. But on a more important subject, have you heard word of from Ramon lately? What's that you say, good sir? You want to solve more puzzles? I'm deflecting the question. Alright, then here's a gem of a tip. Go visit Granny Riddleton Shack, that's all I can say. My detective instincts tell me that another case is developing as we speak. I must take my leave now. But perhaps I'll see you again tomorrow. Uh, panty scrap. And sound parvers. <sighs> you good sir. Ho oh, there. i never seen your mug in here before. What'll it be, pal? Oh, I'm not ordering anything. I actually just came to by to inquire about a certain matter. <clears throat> not for here for the special then, huh? Well, what do you want to know? No one has seen or heard from Ramon, the servant at Reinald Manor, since this afternoon. We've looked about everywhere to no avail. It's like he just vanished from St. Esther. While talking to Crouton earlier, he mentioned a strange old man who is said to lurk in the village. Do you perchance know anything about such an individual? An old man? Alright, oh, that old rumor. 
so you have heard of him before. If you have any information, anything at all, please share it with us. Hmm. You're not from here, are you? Thing is, I can't have you spreading crazy rumors around same as Sarah to the outside world, now can I? Of course, if you're a puzzle lover, then maybe, just maybe, I can find it in me to trust you. Whoa, I see you solved 30 puzzles. All right, then, here's an earful for you. I know a fella who swears up and down the street that he saw a strange old geezer skidding around town. The fellow I know is Prosciutto. He's a wee one, but he's got the appetite of a wolverine. Do you know where we might find this Prosciutto? Can't say for sure, but at this hour he's probably at home snacking on something. His house is on the road that winds north from here. Why don't you go and pay that walking icebox a visit? Got it. Alright. Let's go. Prosciutto. There's his house. Oh, look at this little fella. Hey, what do you want? Start drawing so I can get back to dinner. I heard from a fellow at the cafe that you witnessed a strange old man prowling about town. Could I ask you for a more detailed account of what you saw? Okay. <laughs> I think I was like four days ago. Four days ago. I was on my way home from the market when I saw this creepy but guy sneaking around. So I took a closer look, right? I wanted to make sure he didn't clean out the butchers before I got there. Of course, he was some spooky old guy with a huge <laughs> sack. <laughs> I yelled at him that the geese had just bolted, and I was like, I was all like, man, look at Grant's about to move. I think that weirdo was the one who's been kidnapping people. If you go out of the hour and I watch yourself, you hear? Interesting. Nah, he doesn't give you any more information, but there is a hint coin. Any others? Nah. Oh, there's a puzzle in the meat. Look, it's a hidden puzzle. Look, it's a hidden puzzle. 114. It is this one. <laughs> By the way, I got it on the first try, the first time, too. I'm skilled. Right, it's the thing. Done. Let's go find more puzzles. Tetrahedron. Okay. Bye. <sighs> oh gosh, sorry, Professor. It's not that the investigation is boring me or anything. Bo boring me or anything. I'm just a little sleep. I'm just a little sleepy. It's gotten late. Let's report our findings to everyone at the mansion and wrap things up for the day. But then, oh snap! Professor, look over there. Oh my gosh, is that Ramon? It surely is. Oh shit! Oh god! They caught me with drugs! He's a robot. He's totally a robot. They're so- such- Charming animation. Oh, oh! Gotta go meet up with my client. Oh fuck. Oh damn. Oh snap. Damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no, we've lost him. You, you saw that too, didn't you? No doubt about it, that was Ramon. Does that mean the kidnapper killed Ramon too? Ugh. 
Steady there, Luke. I think we'd do well to return to the site of Ramon's abduction. The kidnapper may have left a clue behind, you see. Right, lead on, Professor. A mysterious rumbling was added to your list of mysteries. And then we went back. We need to sweep the site of Ramon's abduction for clues. You're absolutely right, Professor. Professor, look at this! Oh snap. This appears to be identical to the item recovered from the crime scene at Reinald Manor. Do you think it might help us find who's responsible for both crimes? Perhaps. At any rate, our first priority to, is to report our findings to Lady Dahlia. Come, Luke. Back to the manor. Here we go! Night falls. Investigation solved. Chapter solved. After witnessing Ramon's abduction, the professor and Luke return to the manor to report their findings. We have urgent news. Ramon has been abducted. What? Who? How? Well, I must, inf I must inform the madam at once. Madam, something terrible has happened. So you are saying that Ramon has also been involved in some kind of foul play? No, we can't be sure of that yet. However, time is of the essence. We must organize a search to go locate him post-haste. Mr. Layton, what is the meaning of all this? Why do you insist on whipping the town up into a frenzy? The situation has changed recently, Inspector. We saw Ramon being abducted in town. I'm afraid you may have a serial murder case on your hands. We must rally the people of St. Vistair and organize a search. Mr. Layton, last time I checked, this was my case, not yours. It is too late to start looking tonight. We'll organize a search first thing in the morning. We've no time to debate whether or not to wake a few sleepy villagers. While we sit bickering, poor Ramon may already be. Uh, ever, uh, have we won your attention, please? Honestly, Matthew, can't you see we're busy right now? What is it? My sincerest apologies, madam. But it's Ramon. He, he's returned. Returned, but... Yes... After the professor, yes, after the professor honored us with a visit, I went to the market to do some shopping. Why do you ask? Just what is going on here? There you have it, Leighton. Now will you finally be the detective work to the detective? He's a robot. I know it. Ramon got replaced with a robot. But we saw it. We saw it happen right before our eyes. Ramon, don't you remember any of this? That's enough, Luke. But, no, he was... I, mu I must apologize, Inspector Chemley. It was dark out, and it seems that I was mistaken in what I saw. Now, if you'll excuse us, it's been a very long day, and I do believe we could all use a little, re a little rest. <laughs> I, certainly I certainly agree. The last thing I need is some drowsy scholar. Mm. Some drowsy scholar creating a panic in the village. Well, good night to you all then. Hey, fatty. You're very round. And good. No matter how hard I try, I just can't seem to find a special someone. Tell me, Professor. What does an eligible bachelor like myself have to do to find a girl? I had an epiphany the other day. I think the reason I'm alone is because I can't solve this puzzle. Oh, how I've tried to solve it, but no matter how many nights I spend pondering it, the answer eludes me. Please help me, Professor. I don't want to spend the rest of my life talking to my stuffed animals. When I'm 
looking for a romantic partner, I often ask myself, what's their background? What do they like to do? Can they make a rectangle? If you want to cut this paper, this was actually a puzzle I didn't know how to solve last time. So, if you want to cut the pieces of paper shown in diagram one into two pieces and then reassemble them to form a rectangle, all you have to do is cut the paper as shown in diagram two. However, in order to assemble the pieces as shown in diagram two, you need to flip one of the pieces over before putting them together. Where should you cut the paper? If you want to turn the paper in diagram one into a rectangle without flipping either of your two pieces. Yeah, no, fuck this puzzle. You're gonna be old and alone forever. Yeah, okay, bye. You mustn't give up on me that- You're gonna be old and alone forever. Bye. Old and alone. Forever. Goodbye. Ugh, why are you lagging? Is Bekditch in- It was Droopy Dog and our- How did- No, hello, sir. Inspector Chumley and the madam have already retired for the night. Mona's likely off to the cafe. Oh my goodness! Computer, what are you doing? You've had a very hard day, Professor. Do try to get some rest. Good night, sir. Okay, bye. Why can't I go down that stairway? <coughs> I wonder if we really did just mistake what we saw on the streets. No, I'm certain it was Ramon. When we saw him, there wasn't the slightest hint of life in him. Robot! He may have lost consciousness, but how odd that he should return healthy as can be an hour later. Stranger still is the fact that he seems to have no memory of what we saw happen to him. It's so peculiar! Plus, Ramon wasn't even the first. Lots of people seem to have had the exact same experience. Any other village would be in a panic over something like this. But St. Esther... Well, it's peculiar as all. There's something very peculiar about this whole town. Yes, most places no one would stand for this. But we've seen that St. Esther is anything but normal. Ramon's mystery is added to your list of mysteries. And nope. Wow, that was the quickest night ever. The day has come to vanquish the horrible curse or whatever. <laughs> yes, yes, don't. D uh, what is that? Yeah, what's that? Don't worry, I'll let him know. Oh, hello there. There was a phone call for you. It was from Expector Chess of the Rather. From Expector Chumley. He just kept saying that it was urgent. You should meet him at Reinald Manor at once. He probably wants to talk about what happened yesterday. Maybe so. We don't know until we get there, though. So. Come on, Luke. Alright, let's check the stuff. Uh, journal! Okay. Gerard's request. Alright, our invitation continu- Our investigation continues even as night falls upon St. Mister. We were on our way to the cafe through the passage below the clock tower when we bumped into Gerard, who's a bit of a bind- Who's in a bit of a bind. He says he dropped something of great value in the park, but is scared of venturing out in the night alone. As I always tell Luke, a gentleman's first duty is to help those around him, so we've offered to aid him in the search. The Inn at Night Deke pointed us in Beatrice's direction, as she was the one who actually found Gerard's lost watch. Poor Deke really was in a bind when we found him. Though terrified of being out in the dark, he refused to go home until he solved a puzzle, which was bothering him. I suppose we should pay Beatrice a visit. Beatrice's advice! 
Beatrice mes mentioned, Beatrice mes mentioned that Ramon frequents a small cafe in town that we might be able to find him there. She also handed Gerard's lost watch over to us. As soon as we return it to its owner, we can get back to our investigation in a timely manner. To the cafe! With Gerard's watch returned, we are finally free to return to our investigation of Ramon's disappearance. I must admit that I'm feeling a bit weary, and do hope we will find him at the cafe. Talk of kidnapper! The cafe's owner, Crumb, was extremely helpful. He told us where we can find a man who had a run-in with the aged kidnapper. This witness lives just north, north of the cafe. I hope against hope that Ramon is merely off somewhere napping. But I have a dreadful feeling that the worst has happened. In any case, I must talk to Prosciutto. Strange old man. To our shock, we stumbled across a very, the very kidnapper we were investigating, just as he nabbed Ramon and dashed off. We tried to report our findings to the inspector forthwith. But just as we were about to reveal our findings, our, to our bewilderment, Ramon returned home. Just what is going on here? It seems like the journals are just what already happened. <laughs> yeah, it's a little cute walkie. Beep, 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 beep. Today marks our second day in St. Luke's Day, and I was secretly hoping I could start off the day properly with a little tea, with a little tea but no such luck. We've been summoned to Reinhold Manor, and must hurry over to meet the inspector before he loses his patience. Well, he's gonna have to wait for the next episode, Mystery. Walking the Saints of St. Mister at night, occasionally a thunderous rumbling fills the air. The noise was rumoured to come from the tower, but no one in town knows to know the, seems to know the origin of the sound. Villagers claim that the noise has increased in frequency as of late. Ramon! Oh, guys, only two more mysteries! When Leighton and Luke... Oh, when Leighton and... That's not Leighton talking. When Leighton and Luke finally tracked down Ramon, they were shocked to see him being kidnapped by an old man. Shortly thereafter, Ramon's return to the mansion with no memory of ever being abducted or stuffed into a sack. What happened to Ramon's memory? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not a touchy screen. This is a touchy screen. And paintings... Whoop. Uh, whoop. Whoop. Yep, that's where it goes. Whoop. And this goes right here. Yep, fits like a glove. Like I said, I couldn't figure out what's where in any of these yet. And that's it. That's all I got up in here. Um, so, that's uh, all I'm doing for now. Uh, I'll do the next episode. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe, and leave a comment because your words mean so much to me. And as always, guys, I hope I recorded this episode right because I don't really want to do it again. And also have an awesome day.